Hello. So today I'm going to be showing off the Littman Core stethoscope. Do, 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 do. As you can see, it's right here. So this one's cool because it connects to Bluetooth and I like to hook it up to my speaker so you can hear my heartbeat out loud with me, like in sync, it's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to three different valves just as I am. And then I'm going to take a shot of espresso and we're going to do it again and see how it's different. This was actually an idea suggested to me by a subscriber. So thank you for the idea. Appreciate it. Um, if there's any other cool ideas like this, let me know. Sometimes I take suggestions. <laughs> so I'm going to put on my gloves and reach my caffeine limit for the day. <laughs> so the fun part's gonna be getting it to connect and play out of the speaker nicely. Sometimes I have a hard time with that. So let's start there. I'm already connected to my speaker. Yeah. And I need to sign it. All right, one moment. Yay, turn on your device. Uh, they use a eco app. So I'm gonna sign into the app. Connect your device. This is my device. And do stuff with it. Gotta be careful not to talk or else you can uh you know hear that too so i don't need to wear it because we can hear out loud and we'll start here side I want to be on now.
right, so I'm hanging around uh, 75 beats per minute. This app is cool because it's telling you like your beats per minute. <laughs> Get out of my hair. All right, espresso time. Just gonna get in real close. Ooh. All right. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Keeping in mind it's going to change a little bit because I just moved around a lot. So it seems like before espresso, it was really consistent, like uh, 70, 75, hanging around there. And for the most part, it's staying around 70, 75. And then every now and then we'll jump up to 80, 85 for a little bit. So it's like I have more fluctuation. I'm sure there's fancy words I don't know that uh, 
classify that. If you know them, please comment them. Pretty sure it's like rhythmic or something, but I don't wanna talk out my butt here. So yeah, thanks for the cool suggestion. I enjoyed doing that. I was I was surprised. Uh, so going into this, I expected to have, I don't know, starting out BPM 70, 75, that's what it usually is for me. And then post coffee, um, for it to go like 80, 85, 90 and maintain that, like I'm working out or something, you know, I don't know. Uh, but instead it stayed in the seventies to 75s. Yeah, I'm like feeling, I'm really feeling that uh, coffee now. <laughs> like choke, choke, choke. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but instead what it did was it stayed in the 70, 75 range for the most part, but I heard it be stronger. So before pre-coffee, it was like, and then post coffee, it was like, do, 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 you know, like stronger beats. And then occasionally it would spike up for a second and then calm back down. So cool idea. Thanks for the suggestion. I like that. If you have any other cool ideas, comment them every now and then I'll post like, Hey, send me your cool ideas. But for the most part, if you leave a comment and I like the idea, I'll copy paste it into my list of videos to make. So be patient. I do many things. It will take me a while to get around to requests, but I do see them. So <laughs> yeah, that's it for uh, for this video. Flip the course to scope. I have a lot of fun with it. This is probably my favorite thing to play with right now. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.